When I first saw WebSim, I thought it was just a cool side project where an AI hallucinates any website URL. For instance, we could say like purplecatlovers.com and then right away an AI will generate a website called purplecatlovers.com and everything in it. And I thought that was it, you know. But then I started seeing the type of projects people were making with WebSim and they were actually quite impressive and complex. Wow, someone's made like a full FPS <laughs> um, yeah, you can shoot, uh, explore the procedural world. So it looks like the world gets created as you walk around. Uh, but yeah, just the fact that this was created with, you know, without coding. Look, this is the prompt. It's just like five words. Make a procedural generated world. Give the player a gun. Fix the enemy standing on the ground. Make houses. Like we, and then we can actually click this version and go see the other version. So you can see in this version, there was actually like walls and houses and stuff. AI agent builder. So it's like Inception now. Where people are creating AI agents within WebSim. And this is a, such a cool website. Game Boy Advance, emulator, Minecraft. The fact that you... Wow, this actually looks so good. They've made Minecraft in WebSim. I just think these simulation ones are really, really cool. Especially this one because you can drag things and like break and make tears in the cloth and then like simulate wind. And they seemed much more capable than a lot of the other AI software engineering tools. We had 3D simulations, particle simulation. Like if you got a human to try create this, I think they would struggle. Like this is kind of complex. And one that really caught my eye was this collaborative paint game. The other ID here. And now these two, I think these two are now connected. So if I draw one thing, yeah, you can see my mouse on that. So if I draw one thing here, you actually see it on the other thing. And it's actually like we're both kind of communicating online. Because I thought WebSim only made websites. For an online game, you actually normally need a server and sometimes a database. And I was really amazed thinking WebSim could actually create and deploy servers and databases for your website. I did some investigation into the project and found out it was using something called PeerJS. This was really cool. I'd never heard of PeerJS before. It's a JavaScript library that enables peer-to-peer -peer WebRTC connection. So it's really fast WebSocket connection and it doesn't require you to host a server yourself. Now it still does need a server to broker the connections, but they host one for you. Really simple to set up. I was really inspired by that and I went on to create my own project. Create a multiplayer snake game with PeerJS. Simple prompt only like six words Let's see what it does okay start game so yeah I, I initially thought that these projects they had to be created with just one website prompt but you can actually prompt it in natural language and then keep iterating on the prompt so i went out to create a multiplayer snake game i know it's very basic but i just wanted to test the multiplayer capabilities of websim with peer js and i actually got something that worked kind of well it wasn't perfect but i was able to play online with one of my viewers, Enrico, from the other side of the globe, and we somewhat had a working game in less than 10 minutes on one stream. And then my viewers told me about these magic prompts. Make it better, refine it, make it cooler. So yeah, I tried them out and it's actually pretty surprising how effective such a simple prompt can be. WebSim can take your already existing project and refine it, make it look cooler. It was so much fun. There's a lot of other cool things you can do with WebSim. You can take other people's projects and iterate on it yourself, add your own prompts. And just on the front page of WebSim AI, you can see all the top projects of this week um, and then yeah pick one of these projects and iterate off of it you can also check out their discord where they have a show and tell channel where people submit the projects that they've made some of these projects are really cool shout out to zek they've made their own ide in websim where you can input any websim url and edit the code within websim it's like inception and it looks really nice just like vs code i'm pretty sure every websim project is just a single html file so it's pretty cool also check out their reddit r slash websim and the pin post they actually have some really nice guides an intermediate and advanced guide where you can learn cool tips like did you know WebSim can actually have a generated backend where they have endpoints where the response is actually generated from WebSim every time. Really cool stuff. I hope you like this video. Make sure you're subbed and following me. I really enjoy software engineering and AI and we're at a really exciting time right now where these two things are really accelerating each other. So yeah, I hope to see you next video.